In the meantime, it might be as well to consider whether you wouldn't actually be happier elsewhere. Mars, for instance. There are some very good jobs going on Mars. Name one. Linda, he's gone to Valhalla. He'll be taking the first ship out to Mars. Forget him, please. Morning. Uh, Why do we have to start at this hour? Vrennan's bright idea. Ferry his slaves down to Valhalla to start work on his pyramid. And then the shuttle can take us back up again. I can't wait to get on board, I think. you like it. I did. Aren't you reading too much into all this? Yeah. Up with a chop, I could see it in his eyes. Oh God, am I supposed to offer you some heartwarming matronly advice? Under review, that's all he said, under review, so cheer up. Isn't that what Rosie would have said? Rosie's gone. There's more to commanding a ship than just pressing the right buttons. You can't expect a colourless Eurocrat like De Gracie to understand anything. He's a bit like my husband. Yeah, you're right. There is more to commanding a ship than just fiddling with a computer console. Positive thinking, great. Perhaps I'm going to be rather good at this. I'll tell you one thing, though. If my job goes to Fimbo, I'll kill him. I will. I'll swing for him. Mm -hmm. Hi. Good morning. Morning. Any coffee? On the shuttle. Oh, thank you. Why do we have to start at this hour? Professor Braylon wants to get his slaves working on the pyramid. Oh, all oh, right. Open. Hi there, guys. Either of you looking for a good time? Hi. Hello, Daniel. Oh, Sarah, I've missed you so much. I've missed you every minute of every day. Did you have an interesting voyage then? Yes, thank you. We had to fight our way past awful dangers. Yeah? Mm, electrons zapping the radiation belt. That sort of thing, you know. I often thought, will I ever take Sarah in my arms again? And give her a big friendly kiss. <laughs> Hi, I'm Anna. Not Anna Bagani. Yes. I've heard about you. Really? From Sarah and Melody. I'm Rebecca, the new bursar. Is there something you want? Uh, I was looking for peers. I'm having trouble sleeping at night. Mm, guilty conscience. What? Why? <laughs> Joke, sorry. Hey, hold this. Oh, it's my exams. I've got part ones in eight weeks and I just know I'm going to fail. Well, worrying's not going to help. Well, if you're a worrier, you worry. And if there's nothing to worry about, you worry about that. Perhaps you'd better speak to the boss. The boss? Harriet. Come to think of it, I'd better speak to her as well. You must find it very strange. I know I did. I found it really weird. Well, I feel so old. I've never felt old before. Tell me, what do they do with all the old people around here? My friend Hanka says they euthanize people at 35. Yes? And the next time you see them is in Stardust Lil's Goat Burgers. Well, you'll have to introduce me to Hanka. Oh, she doesn't live here. She's nothing to do with the college. So you think I ought to see Harriet then? Yes. My advice is Bursa. It's talk to Harriet. Okay. I'll see you. Bye. Bye. Commissioner didn't actually say you were for the chop, did he? They have no plans to move me at the present time. Ooh, that bad, eh? Sent a chill down my spine. Still don't see what it's got to do with Fimbo. Don't you ever notice that lean and hungry look? 
I bet he and Chantal de Gracie cooked this up months ago. Nah, they're pretty chummy, but I don't think she's got much say in affairs of state. Perhaps it was just a warning shot. Straight between the shoulder blades. They probably want to run things differently. Oh, come on. Where is Fimbo, anyway? Medical. Radiation check. Cats. When this ship isn't commandeered for some rescue mission, we go in little circles round and round Callisto. What do they expect me to do? I oh, know, it's difficult. The odd loop the loop. The occasional victory roll as we enter Space Harbor. Elliot, falling asleep on the Kazi while your ship was being scrambled wasn't exactly a masterstroke. Don't sugarcoat it, cats. Give it to me straight. I'm only trying to help. That's what they all say. Just before the boot goes in. So what Fimbo will say when he takes my command. God protect me from my friends. One. Two, two, three, three four. four. Oh, Jupiter, Jupiter girls, won't you come back tonight? I can't sing this. Oh, don't be stupid, Sarah. Of course you yeah, can. Of course, Sarah, of course you can. I thought we were going to do sisters. Sisters is boring. No, it's not. <laughs> After a hard day at the hydrogen plant, the boys do not want an hour with the singing nuns. Uh, it's not about nuns. You know it. Do, do, do. do, do, do. It's still boring. Come on, on four. One, One two, two, three, four. Oh, oh Jupiter, Jupiter girls, won't you come back? I find these words a bit repetitive and dull. Dull? You're the one that's being dull. <laughs> no, I'm not. Honestly, Daniel, I ask you. Oh, don't ask me, please. Mitch, you'll be telling me it's sexist. Yeah, well, it is, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so you sound like my grandmother. It's a bit of fun, dear, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a bit of harmless fun. Yeah. Well, Jean-Francois is going to blow his top. Rubbish. Oh, yeah, come on. He likes a good song, does Jean-Francois. <sighs> oh, well, I'm just glad my Bob's not here to sing <laughs> this. Right, on four. One, two, three, four. Oh, Jupiter, girls, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight. Come out tonight. Oh, Jupiter, girls, won't you do this? And then I don't sleep at night, and that affects my work. Something does. It shouldn't be you at this stage. I think I understand it in class, but the next day it's all gone. So I work extra hard in my spare time. Oh, I know you do, Anna. Oh, maybe the others are right. Maybe I'm just not suited to academic life. Look, you've got a damn sight more sense than most of them. Dim little Anna from Sardinia who only got here because the facts went to the wrong Anna Bagani by mistake. It didn't, did it? No. I won my place against ten. Of course you did. And you will get through your part ones. I'll never pass them and I'll have to go home. Well, we'll organise some extra tuition. Bit of good old-fashioned cramming. What about um, Jean-Francois or, or Piers? I'd prefer Jean-Francois. I find Piers a bit intimidating. All oh, right, I'll ask him. Oh, thank you. Look, I don't want to lose you, Anna, and I'm not going to. And stop worrying. It's not going to help anything. That's exactly what Rebecca said. Rebecca? Rebecca who? Who's Rebecca? Touch more. That's it. Now go for it. I say when he moves into horror, he gets bolder, bolder and bolder. You I hope she remembers what her mother has told her. Is that oh, right? I've got to tell you, I find those lines really naff. See? What are we going to call this? What is it? Um, Europa? <laughs> Europa. Europa Snowball. Europa Snowball. <laughs> Careful, some of them's going in the glass. I just <laughs> can't think what Jean Francois is going to say about it. Yes. I think you'll agree that's pretty damn good. Hello, oh, are you Rebecca? Mm -hmm. That's me. I'm Harriet Bullock. That's true, she really is. <laughs> I, I was on my way to see you when I got waylaid by this lot. Would you care for a Europa Snowball? Mm. Uh, no, thank you. I was looking for Jean Francois. He's busy lecturing. Life is hard, Melody. Life is earnest. You have yet to make that discovery. <laughs> Well, perhaps we could meet up later on, if you don't get waylaid again. Mm, after lunch. I'll look forward to it. Two o'clock. Right, what's next? Mm. Uh, same again, only this time with gin. Mm, what do we call it? Um, uh, Ilya Iceberg? <laughs> and heavy on the youngest jurors. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah said you'd be furious. Furious? Sarah said you'd be off your head with jealousy. I said that you were a mature... <laughs> mature, confident, well-balanced person. Right. I reminded her that when we sang at Christmas, you said we had voices like angels. Are you going to sing the bells of St. Stephen's at the Stardust Day? No. It's an old country and western number, actually. Who's he? Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> I suppose Lily's trying to bring all the riffraff in from Galtieri's. Riffraff? Not riffraff. They're just <coughs> nice boys who are far from home. And they're very nice to me. I bet they are. <laughs> oh, come on. Surely you trust Sarah. She's respectable. Even if you don't trust me. I never said I didn't trust you. That's not how it sounded. Oh, Jean-Francois, I was so looking forward to seeing you. I thought you'd be proud of me. Maybe I am proud of you. <laughs> Always. 
It's just that I worry about you, you know? Well, silly. I mean, it's only the stardust. It hasn't suddenly turned into some ghastly clip joint <laughs> since you've been away. <laughs> I know. Anyway, I'm going to be there, aren't I? Hmm? Yeah. That's right. Good job I'm here. I seem to remember you have a taste for verses. Hope you also remember our date for lobster and champagne. When? Tonight. Good, you're in a hurry. I don't want anyone else to get in before me. How is the mad professor? Fine. Anyway, how come you're allowed to go down there? I thought you were in charge up here. I uh, handed over to Elliot today, 700. Well, I wouldn't move your stuff out too quickly. You'll probably be moving back in in a couple of days. Why? What have you heard? Mm, nothing in particular. Do you know why Elliot missed the shuttle? He was unlucky. Well, he can't afford to be unlucky. So he said. You don't happen to know if young Fimbo's back on board, do you? Yeah, why? How nice. The two chums back together on the bridge. Surveying your kingdom, eh, Fimbo? Hello. Surprised to see me? Thought I might be gone already? Gone where? Oh, give me some credit. Et tu, Fimbo. What are you talking about? Enjoy our trip, did we? Everything we hoped it was, was it? I spent most of it locked in the storm cellar. Oh, dear, what a pity. Never mind. Still, there'll be plenty of other chances to shine, won't there? You know something I don't. I bet. If I went to your cabin and looked in that little shoebox under your bed, I'd find a set of captain's bars, eh? Just ready for sewing on, Anna, eh? What are, you, what are you doing? Have you gone mad? Very nearly. I don't want your job. I don't even want my own. Of course you don't want yours. Nobody wants yours. I'm leaving. I've had enough. What? I've had it with this life. I want out. Out of the Ilia, out of Callisto, out of the whole Jupiter system. Oh, Harrod, not tonight. We've got less than two months. I could teach Anna Bagani biochemistry for two years and she still wouldn't understand it. She doesn't have to understand it. She has to buzz and examine it. Can I do it tomorrow night? You are. Tomorrow night, the night after every night. But Harrod, what is the point? I mean, what is the point? Suppose she does pass these exams. She better. Yes, but she still has to face it again in two years' time. What will she do then? <laughs> That's my problem. Look, Jean-Francois, you were the one who persuaded me the students needed personal supervision. Friendly and sympathetic tutoring. Anna Bagani was mentioned by name, and I gave you a contract. I was desperate. Yeah, so here we are. But I've got to go and see Melody sing tonight in the Stardust Cafe. Anna Bagani is actually willing to work. A novelty at Columbus College. She likes you. She trusts you. She thinks you're sympathetic. Tomorrow, OK. Look, Jean-Francois, I've told you you'll do it tonight. Please. Biochemistry Foundation course lesson one. Lesson one? I think so. Just for an hour. For me... I had a spider for a while. Came from the dome. Disappeared on our second night off Amalfea. Cats went out to the Copernicus, so the airlock was opened, and then when I got put back in, the spider had gone. You talked to it, did you? Oh, yes. Tiny, freeze-dried money spider floating forever throughout the infinity of space. It's always sad to lose a friend, but I'm not sure it warrants a career move. What? Long spell of leave on space colony or Mars, no, no, perhaps? I, I'm not leaving because of the spider. Her Linda, she, um, she treated that spider with more feeling than she treated me. Her Linda Gotthard? If I'd died, she would have just stepped over me to get to Hartman. Little kittenish ones are always the worst. It was as if I didn't exist as a person at all, with flesh and, and blood and feelings. Welcome to the real world. The good guy ends up on his Jack Jones while the girl goes off with a scrounger who blacks her eye every Saturday night. If he does that, I'll kill him. Why did it have to be Hartman? You'll come unstuck. You sort of always do. What about Helinda then? I mean... I want out of here, Elliot. Just as soon as you and the postings board can swing it. Well, I must say you've come as a bit of a surprise. Surprise me too. That's how things are out here, though, isn't it? But you haven't held this sort of post before. No. I've had a lot of experience in hotels. This isn't a hotel. Although I'm sure the students treat it like one. Yeah, but the principles are the same, though, aren't they? Keep them fed, keep them smiling. We also have to keep them working. 
Oh, that's your department, thank goodness. Well, it's all our departments, really. The first step to academic excellence is a sound administrative base. Right. Well, I expect we'll muddle through between us. How long are you planning to stay here? Oh, a couple of weeks at least. Pardon? I've no idea. I've only just got the job. Oh, it's a pity I wasn't able to be at your interview. Well, I'm sure we're going to make a great team. Hmm. Don't believe that woman. Who, oh, Rebecca? Harriet. Oh, Harriet. No, nope. I don't believe Harriet. I don't believe her at all. She's a figment of my imagination. A leftover from one of my nightmares. One day, I'm going to click my fingers and Harriet won't be there. You know, she's only got me taking extra tuition. Oh, bad luck. She's trying to teach Anna Bagani enzyme technology. Well, difficult at the best of times. And she wants me to start tonight. You're not going to miss the shuttle, are you? I'm certain to miss the shuttle. And Miss Sarah Melody and their galactic debut. Oh, dear, Jean-Francois. Daniel, if you try anything... Me try anything? With those blokes from the hydrogen plant in town, I'd be trampled in the rush. So where is it to be, then? The furthest outpost I can find. Optican 5 on Tethys. That's where they go to forget. Far, is it? Well, nothing to do all day but sit and stare across the rim of Odysseus. Sounds ideal. Every now and then, one of them runs amok, or gets into his spacesuit, walks into the night, and never comes back. Well, it's as good a way as any. Don't be so ruddy, daft, Fimbo. You can't go there. You can't leave. What about all your friends? Like who? I'm not going to list them, for God's sake. What about your career? What career? The one you're always wittering on about. And the one you'll be wittering on about again once you stop wittering on about her. I'm finished. We both know that. You will be. If you apply for a posting because some second-year student's broken your heart, it'll be the doziest career move since Custer took over the 7th Cavalry. No, you're getting me confused now. We've both seen that, OK? Then you sing those two. I don't like saying that lie. Hi, baby. Look, I'm not going to be able to come tonight. Oh, Jean-Francois. I know, I'm sorry. I'm afraid it's my fault. Your fault? No, it isn't. Look, Harriet's asked me to give Anna some extra tuition. Oh, well, at least it's for a good cause, eh? I feel really guilty. Well, don't. Your exams are much more important. Yeah, more important than a silly song routine. Isn't that right, Sarah? Oh, yeah, of course they are. Well, look, I see if I can talk to Harriet, see if we can start tomorrow. Oh, no, Anna, I'll never forgive myself. Jean-Francois doesn't mind, do you? Of course I don't mind. Neither do we, do we, Sarah? Oh, the fewer the people that come, the better. <laughs> You're also very kind. God, he was testing me. While you were cutting that poor devil loose, he was testing me. I would imagine you passed. Passed? If it wasn't for me, we'd all be locked underground by now, glowing in the dark. Why the Petra will ever recover is another matter. Why? It took me an hour and a half to unscramble the pre-ignition sequence after you'd been at it. Yeah, well, I'd like to see you fly that thing on a grade two navigation ticket in half an hour with the manual. <laughs> you did very well. As I'm sure the mad professor's told you. He did mention it. Before or after, he invited you for lobster and champagne. <laughs> Both. He's asked me again this morning. You told him to boil his head, I hope. No. I told him I'd think about it. You are so heartless. Well, I have to be. He's very small, isn't he? I wonder how he got to be so small. Perhaps that's why he's so aggressive. Oh, don't tell me that the great Katz Kuypbrook is jealous. Nah. Good. Do you really want to have dinner with a man you can't see over the lobster? <laughs> Hello, Anna. Hi. Jean-Francois, can you go along with the idea that what they call imaginary time is really the real time, and what we call real time is just a figment of our imagination? It only exists in our minds. But Anna, I'm not a theoretical physicist. But I didn't know that you were either. It's what I wrote my paper on, the paper that got me the scholarship. When I got here, they said I had to do all this stuff about stochastic analysis and chemistry. In imaginary time, there are no singularities or boundaries. Or perhaps it's meaningless to ask which is real or which imaginary in time, places or people. Anna, could we have a look at enzyme technology, part one? <laughs> okay. Unscheduled shuttle departing T minus three minutes. Enzyme technology lesson one. I didn't know there was a late shuttle tonight. All those guys from Space Harbor. Anna. I can't have gone wrong already. No, look, darling, I'm sorry. But I really have to go, all right? And don't tell the Bullock. We have ignition. We have main stage. All engines lift the abdominal thrust. Confirmed. Go to full burn, Centaur. The vault, Finbo. 
lies not in the stars, but in yourself. Is that famous, or did you just make that up? You can go to the backside of Saturn if you like, but you won't find the answer there. It's in here. I know. Straight from the shoulder, my old fiend. You've made a prat of yourself about that girl. Thank you very much. But don't write yourself out of the book of life. I know. You'll be miserable. Be miserable in the comfort of your own home. And this heap of junk is your home. Right? I suppose so. That's better. Let me top you up. Somebody's had all the gin. That was a full bottle this morning. Told you we should have gone to Space City. It's cabaret night in Space City. Staying. Staying. That's a spirit. Drink on it. I'll nip to the club. No, thank you. I've had enough. So have you. Yeah, you're probably right. Been up since 0400. Must be getting old. Night, night, Finbo. Good night. Sir. You're a pain in the backside most of the time, but it wouldn't be the same without you. Any instructions for the morning? Leave three bottles of moonshine outside my door and give me a knock the day after tomorrow. Elliot. What? I keep getting a D7 signal from a spaceship burning its way into the Jupiter system. But there's no interorbital line that's due for weeks, is there? No, Fimber. It was there at 1300 hours and now it's completely disappeared. My old fiend, you're getting better already. No, no, but really, it was there, but, but now it's completely vanished. Strange portents in the night sky. Dear me, we're right back to normal. You'll slay me, Fimber. Oh, yes, pretty boys, we're coming out tonight. Coming out tonight. Coming out tonight. Oh, yes, pretty boys, we're coming out tonight. To dance by the light of the moon. Dance till you're dreaming with the young navigator, though he's lifting off later in his high trench and freighter. He will be working on his arm, little daddy, while we dance by the light of the moon. Oh, Jupiter, girls, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight. 